tell me how the Istanbul Independent Film Festival first started. Uh, 17 years ago, I was an audience and uh, it started like with a focus on um, small independent films you would never see on screen. At the time, um, films like you know, Donnie Darko or uh, Darren Aronofsky was a, was a guest or Christopher Nolan's first film, they were all like part of the selection. Mm -hmm. So it was like from the beginning a highlight on young, fresh, um, edgy, uh, cutting edge films from all around the world. Over the years it expanded, it added like uh, competitions, uh, it has like, it started with like maybe 40, 50 films, now mm -hmm. like 85, 90 feature well, tell films. Me, tell me about the process of how these films are chosen to be screened in, at the festival. It is, uh, it starts right after the festival ends actually. We go to other festivals, we start watching films, we discuss the films we watch. We have like a very small group of people, we always like uh, in communication with each other. Uh, it starts like at Cannes Film Festival in May okay. and then it takes from there. So we, we pick up some films, some films is like, uh, okay, we have, to, we have to screen this, but like we have to wait for some films and like it starts like right after the festival actually. We have a little bit of like a time off and then we are traveling to other festivals, mm -hmm. we watch a lot of films and... Well, uh, this is an independent film festival. Yeah. So what makes a film an independent film? Film. Uh, it is like <laughs> it's like one of the ancient questions in the film business of what is an independent film uh, it is like um, for us it's like more highlighting the artistic qualities and a vision by a filmmaker and we follow filmmakers uh, filming styles and mm -hmm. like uh, from all over the world, we are trying to f focus on these kind of like small independent films. Mm -hmm. That's okay. like how. So the festival is curated and is based on thematic sections, yeah. which can change every year. Yeah. Tell me about this year's thematic scheme. Uh, we have like this year, we wanted to bring attention to, uh, we wanted to give some sort of like light, hope to people who are watching these films. Mm -hmm. uh, so our Theme, main theme is like to the life. So we are, try, we, we, we were like looking for films that would give sort of like a light um, hope for people who are kind of stuck in mm -hmm. like lots of different things in the world, right? So we are like opening with like Oscar nominated film Lady Bird by okay. Greta Gerwig. It's like she's the only one of the five female filmmakers who are who's nominated for the Oscars and we are closing with um, Disaster Artists it's uh, a film by James Franco on this cult film The Room so it's like there's always this light touch on the films and we are trying to um, add that like lightness to like every section uh, in like in the program. Okay, so I know that there's going to be some workshops and master classes as well during the festival. Tell me a bit about those. We have, uh, we started like a, a film fund for documentaries. Like mm -hmm. we are bringing documentary filmmakers from Turkey and the region. Okay. And we are trying to show them like how to package a documentary, how to like visualize an idea. Like these kind of, we have like a closed workshops just designated for uh, the professionals from the industry. So it's like, really helpful. And uh, we have uh, a number of other sections. We, we kind of like, there was this overarching team uh, from like the punk. Mm -hmm. So we have like a section uh, dedicated to punk music. And wow. like there is like a, a, like a, a round table discussion um, around like the punk music scene in Turkey. Wow, that sounds very interesting. Now, what films are you looking forward to seeing in the next couple of days? Uh, a lot. Uh, I don't see that much because I, I have to take care of the guests, basically. But like for the audience, I think like uh, they should definitely see the opening film, Lady Bird, mm -hmm. and the other films like Mudbound, you know, Dark River, and Lots of like smaller films, uh, Nothing Factory, Eva from Iran, 
Uh, another Iranian film is very interesting called Invasion. Uh, so we have like so many different offerings, lots mm. of documentaries. Uh, just like they have to go to the website if istanbul.com and they could just like see whatever they want. We have really nice short films. They're all free. Uh, so like, um, yeah, they, like so many different things. So they should check out the website. The festival is going to continue, start on the 15th and continue till the 25th. 25th, yeah. Till the 25th, 5th of February. Thank you so much for giving us that great review, Mustafa Uzunash. Thanks so much.